Hey everyone, we're going to go back to a video I did uh, a couple of years ago and it deals with the uh, heads that I use and uh, the Evans heads more specifically. So check it out. I've been getting a lot of questions recently about drum head selection since I made the move over to Evans. And uh, so I'll give you a rundown of the kit here and let's start with a snare. Seems to be what most people want to know specifically what I'm using on the snare. I've got on the main snare here the Evans Power Center Reverse Dot coated and I really like the uh, sound of that. It's concentrated, it's got a real punchy attack but uh, not too boomy and uh, not too much uh, reverberation and vibrations going on so that you can do a lot of intricate things on it but still get that power and punch if you need it just for the basic 1-4. So uh, then I'm also using on the snare the uh, Genera Coated and um, I like the sound of that a lot as well and then I sometimes I use the Genera HD as well so there's three choices on the snare I'm kind of using them interchangeably to get a little bit different sound I've also got a 12 inch snare over here and I use the uh, Genera G1 coated on that and that gives it a nice bright sound concentrated sound and powerful as well so that's what's going on with the snare uh, let's move on to the toms I've got the 8, 10, 12, 14 rack toms and the 16 on the floor. And on the top I'm using the Evans G2 clear and on the bottom the Evans G1 clear. And that's on all of them including the floor tom. And I'm staring at my DW drums here and inside the 8 inch here it's got an F sharp. Inside the 10 inch it's got an A. Inside the 12 inch it's got an E flat and inside the 14 inch it's got a B flat and the funny thing is this wood of these drums uh, of course DW are very high quality drums and the wood in there is made to resonate at a specific tension of the heads and if you try to crank the head up too tight or you have it too loose or you have the wrong or maybe a cheap head on there you're not going to get the sound out of that drum that uh, it, that drum is made for so um, I have to say I have never in my life had an easier time tuning drums to bring out those notes in the uh, toms than I have with these Evans G2 on the top and G1 on the bottom. It's just been really terrific for that. Then down to the rotos here, I'm using the power center heads for that. They seem to work out really well and just right out of the box they give you a, a great sound. So that's the rundown on the toms. Last but not least, Let's move on to the kick drums. I've got the uh, Evans, the EMAD 2 clear. Incredible punch from that and uh, very concentrated sound. Um, loud, powerful, but again, not so boomy that when you're trying to do intricate things with the double kicks that you kind of lose that and you just hear kind of a big blur. There's none of that going on. So, and then on the front side, I've got the EQ3 and uh, those sound really terrific too. Once again this is very very easy to set up right out of the box and uh, it will give you a great sound. So these are the heads, the configuration that I use for the In the Shadow of the Masters, my solo drumming to classical music CD and these are also the same heads I used on the upcoming Tourniquet album coming your way in 2012 and a lot of people have been asking about the heads I use for the new Tourniquet album. You'll be hearing those uh, soon enough. So thanks to Evans and hope you get a chance to uh, try them out and I hope that answers your questions. I thought I'd give you a look at the back of the kit here from my perspective. Here's the 12 inch snare with the Genera G1 coated. And then we come over here to the first two uh, rack toms, the 8 and the 10 
and we've got the G2 clears on the top and the G1 on the bottom and same thing here we go down to the 12 and 14 inch toms same dealio down to the floor tom same thing here and then we come up to the uh, rotos here and we've got the power center Evans heads on there and down to the kicks we've got on the back side here the EMAD 2 and same thing over here on the right kick and then on the front side of the kicks which you can't see we've got the EQ3 on the front